Hello everybody, I've just uh, been playing with the new 1.8 snapshot and I think I've come up with something pretty cool that I want to show everybody. So uh, you know, I've got an on-off switch so I'm going to turn this on. I'm just going to go ahead and show you what happens instead and then I'll describe what, what it does later. So now everywhere I go, I have a black carpet being placed, even works in the air. It's nice. Okay. Now, in the hotbar, you see I have all of these uh, other colored carpets. So let's uh, let's just switch to the white one. And now white is being placed. So I've kind of made a little paint program thing. You can draw with it. And notice I can't overlap. So that's good. So like, say I wanted this to be blue, though. I could destroy it, and now it's blue. And so on. So, let's see if I can draw something kind of cool here. Well, maybe I'll write my name. I don't know cursive really anymore, so this isn't going to look very good. Yeah, this is going to be awful. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is this isn't working. <laughs> I'm not I'm going to give up now. But I'm just going to play around a little bit with this now. So I'm getting a little lag now, but when you're actually using it, uh, it shouldn't really lag at all. It's just lagging because of my screen recording software, I'm sure. But yeah, so the hotbar is actually irrelevant. Uh, I could have anything in my inventory or nothing. Uh, it's all hard-coded into the command blocks. So, uh, you can't really uh, put anything there and have it do it. However, if you change the command blocks, you can make it whatever you want. So, it's still pretty uh, pretty expandable. But, since the hotbar only has 9 items, you're only limited to 9 colors. So, that's kind of lame, but, I mean, I think it's pretty cool. Either way. So, it's like, I kind of got a cool little thing going on here. I guess <laughs> it's just a mess of vomit colors rainbows but yeah so uh, let me show you what's actually happening here if I can get down there we go okay so right here I have a fast clock going not really fast but fast enough and it's constantly uh, testing for a player with item slot of zero and when it is zero, it's going to uh, set a block over in the other little set of redstone I have that will put the command in to summon a falling sand at the position of another command block that's going to be teleporting. And that falling sand is going to be carpet, which is what this is. 171 is carpet. Uh, the times one to make sure that it'll actually drop it or place it. Drop item set to zero, that's very important. Otherwise, you'd be littered with a ton of uh, carpet items. And data is the uh, damage value. So 15 makes black. And everything else is the same. It's, uh, it goes down the list nine times. It goes from zero to eight. And each one is just a different damage value corresponding to the color that we want. And... Then over here, and as you see here, it's constantly spawning them right here, whatever color it is. And this block is being replaced with the one corresponding to the hotbar slot. And this is a really fast clock going. This block is constantly setting this to uh, the redstone block, and this one is constantly destroying it. And this one 
is constantly teleporting the falling sand to the player. The C equals negative one makes it the uh, most recently created one, so that it's a little faster to update the color change. But I'd still like it to be faster, but I'm, I'm happy, so I'm not going to mess with it too much anymore. And that's pretty much how it works. As you see down at the bottom, it's got a green one, because that was the first top bar item in my inventory when I turned it on. And then the off button will simply place a redstone block right here to trigger the uh, trigger that one last time. Then this will go and turn it back into air, and it will not continue anymore. So if I turn this off, as you can see that's exactly what happened. And if I turn it on, it's going to destroy this block, then place another redstone block in the center, which will start the clock again. So when I'm walking around, nothing's happening now, but turn it back on all the colors are being placed again so it's a little little cool little paint program pretty useless but i thought it was fun so uh yeah y'all have a great day oh, oh and the uh the uh world download will be available in the video description if you want to play around with this for yourself